There we go. Got it. I'm so sorry about that, but it doesn't seem to be working. It was working before. Let's just bow our heads in prayer. Father in heaven, we pray for the spirit to reign upon us, and especially this room and the preparation, Father. This is for your work, and it's about you. Father, have mercy, and we ask for the spirit to lead, guide, and direct. So this message will present in the way that you want us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. So can you see my notes? No. They can't see my notes. We can see the slides, but not your notes. Yeah, that's what they want. You see. can see. Not your notes, it's your slides. You can see, uh, you can see my slides? Yeah, we can see your slides. Like, we can see the Bible verse. Yeah. Yeah, that's but, important. Yeah, that's that's important. Decide. Okay. I am doing a presentation on chapter 11 of the discipleship book. And it's about the God of order. The God of order. Um, I find it very fascinating because God is a, an organized God. And we're going to learn from this one tonight. And God is a sovereign leader. Jesus. Are you right? And also we're going to learn about the seven-day Adventists worldwide. And then our local church, local churches, and then it comes down to an individual choice. All right. From the mir mir miraculous inner workings of human body to the harmonious interdependence seen throughout the universe, universe it may be clearly see that God is a God of order. Whenever we waste a valuable time looking for something we fail to put away properly or work on a project led by someone with no real direction or plan, we are reminded to the, of the importance of organization for the both efficiency and peace of mind. 1 Corinthians 14, 33. Everything that God directs is organized. Everything connected with heaven is in perfect order. Subjection and Farah discipline mark the moment of angelic hosts those are, or angels. And that is from Backyard and Prophets, page 376. The church in the wilderness. When God, when God decided to communicate his character through ancient Israel, he began by organizing his people. He gave them clear assignments in great detail so that all could clearly understand their responsibilities. And that's so important. God, the sovereign God, which means God has a uh, highest power and authority or authority. Moses was the visible leader. 70 elders of the tribe assist Moses. Priests and Levites minister in the sanctuary. Chiefs and princes rule over the tribes. They were captains over 50s, over 10s. God gave instructions for the building of the tabernacle and all its finishings. That's in Exodus 25, verse 240, 25 to 40. The organization of Israel was an awe-inspiring, Leviticus 1.7. Details were also given to the various offering and service of the tabernacle. He assigns a specific for each tribe to camp and around the tabernacle and specific order for each tribe to set up and break camp. Numbers 2. The organization 
of Israel was an awe-inspiring. The, the families of the three sons of Levi were each given separate responsibilities for the care of the transport of the specific furnished, furnished, furnace and, and of the tabernacle. Number three, the priests were tasked with giving specific trumpet signals to indicate every movement of the congregation as in Numbers 10. The New Testament church, just as Israel was organized by God, so the church was organized for service. Did you hear that? The Acts of the Apostle as in page nine. First, Jesus appointed 12 disciples, sorry, 12 apostles whom he trained to be leaders in his course. Mark 13, Mark 3, 14. Seven deacons, good number, were later chosen to handle the specific needs of the follow of the growing church, Acts 6, 1, 1 to 6. The early step towards church organization was followed by the direct blessing of God. Amen. The word of God spread. The numbers of disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem, Acts 6, 7, as churches began to spring in different places from the spring spreading of the gospel, they also appointed elders in every church, Acts 14, 23, also Titus 1 verse 5, to oversee and lead out the ministry of the local congregations. The early church experienced astounding growth. Thousands of individual members has been added to the body of Christ. Wow. The word of God spread continue. Those who carefully receive his word were baptized. Just like our new members, we are studying the Bible and went on fire and get baptized. And can't wait to um, tell people about God. And that day, about 3,000 souls were added to them. Acts 2.41. And the Lord added to the church daily those who were, those who were being saved. Acts 2.47. Every baptism results in another member being added to the church body. For the one spirit, we were all baptized in one body. 1 Corinthians 12, 13. We've got work to do. Organization and unity. Now, unity is so important. One of the great blessings of the organization in early church that helped maintain unity throughout the body of the believers. For instance, a doctrinal difficulty arose over the necessity of circumcision, there, thereby risking a schism in the body. The apostles and elders came together in Jerusalem to pray, study, and come to a unite decision based on scriptures and Acts 15. If we have things like that, issues or whatever, they all come together in prayers and pray and focus in the word of God. Organization continue in unity as the Holy Spirit gave wisdom to various representatives of the church. The council arrived a correct understanding of the word of God's word on the matter. Messenger then deliver the outcome of Jerusalem council to each individual church so that all could follow the collective decision. Again, unity was fast maintained among the believers. While Christ is the head of the church, he works through human leaders. You hear that? Human leaders and represents to maintain harmony, harmony and biblical unity throughout the body. Seventh-day Adventist organization. Like this presentation is all, it's massive, it's big, but they all come down to the local church and the church is made out of people. Many early Advent believers fear that God organization would eventually lead to corruption. I'll leave it to your judgment on that. However, the Bible's testimony on the matter and prophetic guidance given through Alan G. White led to a far organization to the Seventh-day Adventist Church. As the reason for the organization, we read, as our members increase, it was ev evident that without some of the some form of organization, there will be great confusion and the work will not be carried forward successfully. Last day event, page 46. So you won't be doing your own thing, but we have a system. 
Christ is the head of the church. Today in harmony with the biblical model, the Seventh-day Adventist church is organized with a representative form of church government. This mean, means authority ultimately deprived the membership of local churches. Executive responsibility is given to the representative bodies and officers to govern the church. Gotta have a plan. The four main levels of organization, one, general conference, two, union conferences, three, local conferences, four, local churches. The general conference of the Seventh-day Adventists oversees the worldwide conference uh, work of the church. Every five years, dedicates from around the world come to official general conference sessions similar to the Jerusalem Council in Acts at 15. The world divisions. Now, these are, these are 13 of them. 13 of them and each with its president, officers, and executive committee. These divisions are not separate levels of the organization, but regional officers, officers to meet the needs of various languages, as we got multicultural and geographical areas of the world change more effectively. Then we got um, the uh, 13 divisions. East, division, East Central Africa division, number one, number two, Euro division, Asian division, number three, Inter-American division, four, Inter-European -Euro division, five, North American Division, five, six, sorry, Northern Asian Pacific Division, seven, South American Division, eight, South Pacific Division, nine, Southern Africa Indian Division. I think this is what Basta Joanne's husband, what's her name again? Does anybody know? Basta, Basta Ratsara. I think it comes from this where he's original from. Correct me if I'm wrong, someone. Number 10, Southern Asian Division. And number 11, Southern Asian Pacific Division. 12, Trans-European Division. And 13 is Western Central Africa Division. And then we got the other two added in there. Middle East and Northern Africa Union uh, Mission and Israel Field. If you have, some of you go to the Adults Happy Schools, at the back of the adults at the school, you have some divisions, some, some countries that shows in there. That's where the, some of our offerings, separate school offerings go. Second, um, main level to church organization is the union conference, union, union field mission. There are more than 100 around the world. Unions hold legal title to church-owned institutions that serve the entire union, such as college and public news magazines for the constitution, constituent members. It's like that records that we read and um, college like Evandale College and the other college. The third main level of organization within the church is our local conference. Now, if you know in our church, the conference are renting our uh, church building. Local church territory may include one or more states or province. There are more than 600 such conferences around the world. Local conference employ pastors, teachers, evangelists, Bible workers, and administrators who work in the conference territory. Conference also own and operate seven-day Adventist academies, uh, academics, high schools, and youth camps. Now, if you remember, pardon me, um, Donald, uh, what's it called? Tony Donald was employed by the church uh, as a Bible worker, and now he's a pastor, uh, Leslie's um, husband. And now he's a pastor, he used to be a Bible worker, door knocking, brilliant job. Take a risk for God, for God. And we got, uh, I've also noticed that some pastors are being um, transitioned to, to do um, administrator's job. 
So I'm not sure whether you're a pastor or, or, or administrator. And then you've got teachers, but we praise God that we've got a pastor who, who's passionate about evangelists. The fourth and perhaps the most important level of organization is the church. There you go, I want you to pick a seven, our, our church, the East Auckland Church. This is where the most frontline ministry happens and where individual church members is held. The Seventh-day Adventist Church current, currently consists of more than 20 million members worldwide, and it continues to grow to a rate of more than 3,000 new members a day. Every year or two, local congregations nominate and elect new officers. They have to vote for them spiritually and prayerfully. The most important level of organization is the church. The duties and qualifications of the church office, as well as the process of the nomination are all outlined in the church manual. Among these officers are the local elders who assist the pastor in leadership of the church. Deacons and deaconesses are elected to oversee ministry and those in need assist, in, assist the ordinance and cares for the physical church building. The most important level of church continue in here, officers of the Sabbath school are also chosen as well as leaders for various church departments, such as personal ministry, community services, care group perhaps, health ministry, family ministry, women's ministry, men's ministry, youth ministry, pathfinder and adventure clubs, communications, treasury and religion liberty and music, uh, ministry. This is, um, what is this one? I can't remember now. It's gone in my head. Was it a freedom of choice? Thank you, God. Yes. Religion, liberty. The most important level um, of organization in the church continue. Key church officers are designed in the church menu as members of the church board, which is the primary com committee of the local church, the most important function of the church outreach territory. The board generally meets once a month, making it important for the church board members to attend each month, if all possible, prayerfully and uh, respectfully and humbly, you have to be attend these important meetings. The most important level continue in there. Though only board members may vote on the attended items, other church members are often welcome to attend and observe, and through prayer perhaps. If the church operates a school, a separate board usually oversees in its, its business and activities. Yeah, that's right. Level of organization in the church continue at least once a year business meeting is is called in a church, in all church members in regular standing are entitled to vote. We just had a business meeting about a while ago, not long ago, a couple of week and a half or something. The business meeting is the governing body and highest authority of the local church. That's when you say your part um, and speak your mind. Periodically, when there is little or no need for this discussion, item require a vote by the local church body may be brought forward using a minimum time during the Sabbath school service, so they won't take too much time of the Sabbath, worship divine, divine service. The most important level of organization is continue. If an item is need a vote is presented on Sabbath morning, it is often present on two different Sabbath in a form of the first and second reading. The first reading inform the church of an item require a vote, giving members time to consider the matter to discuss, discuss it with the leaders before the vote is taken on a subsequent Sabbath at the time of the second reading. Like members trans, uh, member trans membership transfer or somebody's nominated for a job, um, you know, in the in a, in a, in a church. The most important level of the church organization continue. Item require the majority vote from the entire church, include the election of the church officers, changes in individual membership that step, church disassembly action, annual church budgets, and major expenses for evangelist initiative. Now, 
through through that. Thank you, Lo. Practical applications. So, like I said before, it comes down to individual choice. What are you become a pure woman? What are you want to work for God? Anywhere, everywhere, we all have a voice. We all have a mouth, and we share that with people that we come contact with. I remember one lady say, "If you can talk, you can talk about God." Consider where the Lord may be leading you to get involved. See your minister, see your whoever you want to get involved with. I mean, you feel comfortable to speak to, because you know we may be all members of the church, but some people are uncomfortable to talk to or whatever, you know. But yeah, and you pray about it. Where to next, God? Now, discussion group. These are the questions. If God always work through an organization, why do so many people have a negative opinion of organized religion? How can proper church order, number two, how can proper church order help maintain doctrinal unity? Number three, why are the higher levels of the church structure vital to the mission of the Seventh-day Adventist Church if most of the frontline ministry takes place at our local church. Thank you for listening and your patience and your understanding. So Joshua, if you can uh, break us into groups, please, and also we pray. Are you there? Um, yes, we'll be, we'll be doing that soon. Thank you very much for your ministry.